From HMS Richards, The Promises of God, May 17. First Epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. I'm tired, said the little girl to her father, who was swimming in the ocean with her and her little brother. And then the little brother announced, I'm awfully tired too. All right, the father said. Sister, you are older and stronger. You can float while I carry little brother to shore. Then I'll come back for you. When the father returned, his little daughter was nowhere in sight. Very much alarmed, he hastened back to the shore for help. Then, in a small boat, the men searched up and down the coast until, at last, they saw the child floating, obviously unafraid. When someone asked her how she managed to stay afloat so long and keep up her courage, she replied, My father told me that I could, and I believed him. We must never lose faith in what our father tells us we can do. In Christ he has really said to us, I believe in you. And as it is written in Mark 9, verse 23, all things are possible to him that believeth. A simple childlike faith in a divine friend solves all the problems that come to us by land or sea, said Helen Keller. But our victory is by faith, and even that faith is not of ourselves. Ephesians 2, verse 8, it is the gift of God. And this faith of ours may be strengthened, it may grow, and will grow if we feed upon the word of God. For faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10.17 As William H. Bathurst has written, Our victory comes through, a faith that shines more bright and clear, when tempests rage without, that when in danger knows no fear, in darkness feels no doubt. Commentation prayer is taken from Psalm 25 verse 2. O oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. End of today's reading.